Hello everyone, my name is Arm and welcome back to episode 6 of Undertale. So, to recap last episode, we found ourselves in the small but cozy town of Snowden, and it was just, it was more kind of laid back episode, we didn't really do much, we just simply went around to all the different characters, just kind of got to know them and see what the town's like, and I, I think it's a pretty cute little town. Although I think this flower is in cahoots with Flowey, but... I could be wrong, but that's that's the cool thing about this game. There's secrets hidden in literally everything, and I'm having people tell me that, and I'm seeing it everywhere. Like, there could be a secret hidden in these trees, or in the snow, or in words. You just never know. That's the cool thing about this game. Very simplistic, but very complex at the same time. So, with the introduction out of the way, let's hop right back to the game so we can continue our quest and figure out how to get back to the surface world. So, uh, last episode, uh, Papyrus, that's that's the right name, gotta be professional, Papyrus decided to capture, and, capture us and lock us in his garage, which uh, is grounds for a lawsuit, but I'm gonna let him off with a warning this time because... It's Papyrus. Come on. With, with that kind of smile, I, I think he's got enough trouble on his plan already. So, introduction out of the way. Let's get back into it. It's been, I think, like two days since I recorded episode five. But I will do my best to try and remember how to not mess things up. Okay, um, we didn't go in these tunnels last time. Oh, okay, cool. But what is up there? I'm curious. Oh, that is going to make me barf. Let's really quick go up here. That smiling whatever creature is kind of creepy. You are, are very creepy. But you're smiling and you're kind of reddish orange. Oh, a rock with a mustache. Interesting. Why did I not see this before? Let's play Monsters and Humans. Okay, so I'm guessing that's a human and this one's a monster. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? The rocks. Is this the dad? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. It's a rock with a mustache. Okay, so we've established even rocks are alive in this game. Okay, can I... Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Okay, we'll play your little game. Ah, my patient roots. patience rewards me. Ah. Are you getting... Is this like some kind of sexual experience here, bro? Ah, okay, I'm just gonna walk away from that because that's gotten creepy. Oh, you are buff, ain't you? Hey, hey you. Hi. No? Can I ride those? Because it looks like... It looks like I could be able to ride those. Maybe, but... How did you even get over there? If I can't hop the fence, how'd you get over there? Okay, there's... Nothing here. But that looks like a big wall. You know, okay, I know I've never seen Attack on Titan, but... I've seen pictures, and that's what it reminds me of. The wall from Attack on Titan. So are they trying to keep something out, or trying to keep something in? That I don't know. Okay. So I am pretty sure... Pretty sure that we have explored the whole town. That's why I'm seeing the ice cubes. Because the really big, huge, buff wolf saucing them down here. Oh, great. Let me guess. Papyrus is going to see me again. Oh, how'd you get out? You got out from the great Papyrus. Ah, uh, yep. Here it comes. Just go ahead and tell me. Oh, where could that human have gone? Wait. It's right in front of me. Hello, I was worried that you had gotten lost. It sure is a relief to know you're right here. Wait a second. You're not supposed to escape. Get back there. Ah, oh, great. Papyrus, let's not do this, please. Come on, man. Um. Let's flirt with him. He is too busy fighting to flirt back. Okay. Huh. Oh, great. This again. Ah, oh, This brings back all the stress. I don't need the stress. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. 
Hmm. Let me try mercy. Spare. Wait, I'm not thinking about the de that deep thing. Ha! Ho! Oh god. Ha! Oh god. Hi! Ha! Parkour! Parkour! Ha! Man, Parkour messed up in his Undertale. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. Um, okay, so we can't spare him yet because his name is not yellow. Um, do I insult him? Cause that, that'll make him mad. I'll try to flip with him one more time. Oi! Bull. Ah. Oh, God. Why, Sink? Okay. Papyrus dabs some bone cologne behind his ear. You know, with this day and age, I just see dab and I just immediately think of that thing people are doing. Of course, I'm out of touch with things. Let's try insult him. Papyrus is too busy fighting to accept your insult. Okay, so we can't flirt with him. He's too busy fighting to... Oh, oh God. What was with the surprise bone? Papyrus stabs some marinara sauce behind his ear. I'm not going to fight him. Might as well just flirt with him because he's too busy doing anything else, so... Why? Why try? Oh! Are you insane? Ah! Ha! Barely. They give you barely just enough room to do that. Boom! He's too busy finding the flirt pack. Of course you are. What? Oh, God! Oh! Oh! Why? This sucks! Papyrus... Am I supposed to just... Wait it out and he'll stop, or am I supposed to get attacked? Or captured? I don't know. I don't want to fight him. Because then that means I could probably kill him. And don't want to kill him. Try to be a good guy. Because apparently I've been told killing the ghost in this game made me a jerk. And that kind of hurts my soul. But I couldn't do anything. So I'm trying not to kill anybody. Why? Why? You know what? Just, I'll just let you capture me. Okay, here. Boom. Capture me. So. Well, you may have cleverly escaped from jail before, but this time I've upgraded the facilities. Not only will you be trapped, but you won't even want to leave. Nye, 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 nye. I like Papyrus. I like his nye, nye, nye. It looks the exact same. It's a note. Please ask before you escape. When you went missing, I got worried sick. Slightly bone trazzled papyrus. What does that mean? Is there is there a secret hidden in here? Cause I I doubt it. Nope. Okay. Well we're just gonna simply walk out. Okay. Um let's see. Papyrus is guarding that way. Are we supposed to get on those ice cubes? Uh, yes, look inside. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here. I'm going to come back when I figure out what we're supposed to do to get past Papyrus. So I will see you guys in just a minute. So we find ourselves back here, and I've searched the entire town. Nothing's happening. So I'm going to try it one more time. Maybe, just maybe... If he captures me enough times, maybe he'll just get tired of doing it. Because you can complete this on Pacifist. So there is indeed a way. And I will find it. I suppose it's my fault. I told you before that I would make you spaghetti. It's only natural that you'd want to see me. In the dire hope that I would make you some. Well, I understand. Papyrus is hungry, too. Hungry for justice. Okay, so we are just going to let him capture us. Boom. Boom. Oh, come on. Boom. Actually, I think his attacks were probably better here. So, boom. I jump. This was going to hit me. Boom. Okay. Well, you're not gonna. We're, there is, there's not gonna be a, a date because I think this is wrong, Papyrus. Because I mean, you, you're probably a grown skeleton male. 
and just just a kid. So it's kind of weird, buddy. You're persistent, but I just won't. It just won't work on me. I am the persistentist, and if you think you are persistent, that is wrong. Grammatically wrong. Because the correct four would be not as persistent as papyrus. The persistentist. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Alright. Now, we're just going to walk back out. I hope I'm right about this. I'm hoping maybe he'll just get bored. Or not, because the snowflake thing is going on. Alright, dude. How about you just let me go because I have a quest I need to do. This game gives you a lot of ups and downs. Up and down. You get happy, you get sad. You get happy, you get sad. Man, my nerves ain't fit for this. You're back again. I finally realized the true reason why. You. Just miss seeing my face so much. I'm not sure I can fight someone who feels this way. But mostly, I'm getting real tired of capturing you. No, we are not going to fight Papyrus. Okay. Maybe in a future playthrough, but not in this one. I guess I'll accept my failure. Oh, thank you. New who who. New who who. I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard. And my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Well, we! I haven't even had our... We haven't even had our first date. And I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Oh, dude, don't I know that. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. Written yellow. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is. Well. He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Jemur. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Yeah, let's just give him what he wants. That works. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Nah, 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 nah. Did he just walk on water? Papyrus just straight up jesus me, man. Let's actually go back to his house. Let's see what happens if I go back to his house. Okay. Please don't enter the, this mysterious shack. Okay, no, don't go to the mysterious shack. Hey, Papyrus, how you doing? So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Are we going up back up there to the uh, Attack on Titan wall? No. Uh, what's going on? My house. We <laughs> we were just here. We. Oh, dude. You're supposed to hold the door open for me. Alright, starting off, I'm noticing fire coming from underneath that door, so I am going to check it out. What? Why is he... Oh, this is upstairs. Ew, what's this? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Okay. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? You Forget it. Forget it. Ah, forget it. Oh. 
Ooh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Ah, dude, no, man, I'm not going to judge you. We all have our TV shows that no one else gets. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You get 20 gold. Ooh, yeah, free money. Why are you following me? My brother always goes out to eat. But recently he tried baking something. It was like a, qu a quiche. A quiche. A quiche. That's it. Quiche. I didn't just pronounce that wrong. But filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. That is a very tall sink. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Well, that's random. <laughs> what? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. <laughs> Sands. Stop plaguing my life with incidental music. I'm gonna go back on the thing anyways. Aha! Interested in my food museum. Please, pursue my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. How much trash? That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Did you just insult me? Because it seems like you did. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Okay. Uh, what happens if I try to go capture the dog? Yeah, no, we're, go we're gonna do one thing at a time. It's a joke book. Take a look inside? Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book, well, there's another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. I probably would. Sanity reasons. I would. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Bones. Okay, let's... Let's see what's with the fire. The door is locked. I'm concerned because that's a big fire hazard. Sands is doing something or he's lit something on fire. So much to the point that fire is seeping out from the door. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Whoa, 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 okay, all right. I don't know what's about to happen. This is a simplistic game, but I have no idea what's about to happen. So, disclaimer, whatever happens, don't sue me. Okay. All right, we're, we're, we're in your room. You have a computer, a race car bed, some superhero dolls, and... Okay, not creeped out. Hey, those are the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. How about your computer? The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. I wonder who that could be. The computer's internet browser is open to social media site. Let me guess. Facebook? Instagram? I don't know. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. Then that next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Dude. Might want to expand your horizons on books. Isn't that flag B2? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. You know, actually, we're all skeletons, Papyrus. I, I, I hate to break it to you, but you, what you are, like, we're, we're, we're technically the same here, buddy. <laughs> we technically the same, y'all. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great preference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! Okay, how about your race car bed? That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. 
so instead I cruise while I snooze. I've never thought of that. You get a race car bed and you can cruise while you snooze. What's behind door number two? There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. Hmm. Let's see. What would be the logical decision here? Look in the closet or not look in the closet? We're looking in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. I want to look one more time, just to see if this changes. Okay. Alright. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Okay, now here's the second disclaimer. I don't know what's about to happen, so... Don't sue me. <laughs> okay. Dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hood. Oh snap, this got technical. What? Wow, wait, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <laughs> Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Oh, why, yes! Really? Why, well, we? I must, I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Or go naked, that's fine. Wait a second, wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Oh, Papyrus, you've caught me red-handed. Oh, I, 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 try, I tried to hold it, but I couldn't. I can't hold these feelings. They're just, they're clawing their way out. Is he dead? No, you planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No! Your dating power. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I am losing brain cells. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating. You've never had a date. And I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! There went more brain cells. What do you think of my secret style? I love it! No, a genuine compliment. I can't handle the love. The love is killing me. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Okay, his secret. Uh, the basketball. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat. My hat. My hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well then. You just found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Of course I'm gonna open it. Do you, is that a brain? Spaghetti! That looks like a brain. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right? But oh, so wrong. This ain't just the. I gotta say it right. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an arson's work. Silk and spaghetti, file of age and oak cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Here at it. it's time to end this. There's no way this should go any further. I'm gonna eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by my extension and by extension me. Maybe even more than I do. Oh the love. It's killing me. Oh, d dude, you need to calm down. This is PG. We're trying to keep this PG. Calm down. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, 
It's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. Oh, don't. Uh, it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be one of two things. He's either going to say, I love you, or he's gonna, it's going to be something random. I, um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Uh, human, I, uh, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep you, I'll keep being your cool friend. An act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. I'm not gonna cry. Well, don't worry about that, bro. I am not gonna cry. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Nah, nah, nah. Well, that was awkward. And he just left us in his room. Is there still anything in there? Just clothes? Okay. Well, that was the most awkward day of my life. He just totally left the whole house, didn't he? I like how he trusts us enough to leave us in his house. I don't even know if Sans is home. Sans probably isn't. Alright then. Well, that was the most awkward date of my life. And now that I look at it, it is time to end the episode. So once again, not too much action, but we got to, we got to befriend Papyrus now. He no longer wants to capture us. Although I'm not... I'm not, you know, too sure of his, uh, you know, sexuality right now, but, uh, hmm, I don't know, that was a very awkward date, kind of left me speechless, because on one hand, he says he's, you know, he's not in love with us, but at the same time, he, he was blushing hardcore, so that kind of makes me think, eh, maybe he is, but who knows, so let's go over here to the Sheeny Shiny, and let's save our game, save. Snowden dash town file save so with that out of the way Thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this episode Please leave a like down below and if you're new to the channel want to see more Undertale Please click that subscribe button and leave a comment letting me know what you thought of the episode and Any constructive criticism or any criticism or any comments just no spoilers is all I ask no spoilers Please don't spoil it for me don't spoil it for everybody and once again, guys, I want to thank you for all the support you are having on this series. You know, I might not have many viewers, but I enjoy every single person. And I appreciate every single person that watches these videos. You, All of you are amazing, and I thank you for all your support. So, guys, that's it for me. I'm out. See you guys next time in Episode 7 of Undertale. And to all of those young kids out there, if you see a skeleton and you decide to befriend him and he takes you on a date into his house, into his room, remember, say no.